Supercarts USA 2020 Pro Tour. Let's, Let's go! go! Yeah, get in there, bud. Again, different layout. Um, how are we feeling overall? I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, the layout, it's a very flowy and fast track, and it's completely different than the, than the other layout that we had last weekend for rounds one and three, one, two, three. But yeah, no, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, we have the speed. Obviously. Zach, the fans want to know, where's the hometown kid from last week, man? Didn't even see you. I think a couple years out of the seat made me look a little rusty out there, but, you know, I don't think there was much more we could have done. We threw everything we could at it, but just, I don't know, nothing clicked, nothing was working, but I think this weekend we're starting to get some momentum. Got Garrison on the wrenches this weekend. A little calm, cool, and collected, and I think we'll be able to get her done today. And last week, Christian Brooks was on a Tony cart. This week, he decided to get on your old Will Power cart. What's up with that? Yeah, you know, he had to come over to the dark side over here where he knows the courts are better than uh, the OTK. So um, the results definitely show it last weekend. And uh, he's been doing much better this weekend. So quite obvious there, uh, the results. But um, yeah, it is what it is. It's good to have Christian. He's my teammate in, uh, at exclusive Autosport in the uh, Road to Indy car stuff. So. Um, he's in a different tent, but we're still helping each other out and uh, acting more as teammates here, so it's always fun. Brandon, I don't think you could have found luck last week if you would have tried. I think you wrecked probably more in those three days than I've seen you in the last couple of years. Talk to me about how last weekend went from good to start and then from there. Yeah, last weekend we just had no no luck whatsoever. We did pretty good on Friday. I think we got a top five. And then Saturday in the pre-final, we just got wrecked just in a racing incident. And then worked our way up in the final then, had really good speed. And then Sunday on the start in the final, we were starting fifth and we got wrecked before turn one. Just didn't have any luck all weekend. Hopefully this weekend it turns around and we can get some podiums out there. All right, Bryson. Last week we didn't even have you in the interviews. We knew you were going to be one of the guys up front, so we got your headshot. But I don't know if anyone expected you to be the guy. And now we're going into weekend two, championship lead. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing after those two wins in X30, and I mean, showing pretty good pace here. So I'm trying to keep it going. All right, Christian, we weren't even sure if you are going to be running this week. We knew you were racing last week. Not only are you racing, you're racing a completely different go-kart. Talk to us about what's the change. Yeah, so Eric Jones and all the guys from Cards Board North America were nice enough to lend me a go-kart. Uh, last week, I was actually running Brett Harrelson's go-kart, which not a lot of people probably knew. And he was supposed to show up this week, and I don't know if he's going to show up tomorrow or the next day, but I didn't think I had a go-kart, so I was thinking, and I've always wanted to test one of these things. Man, I mean, obviously, Brady Neves won, well, won, got a penalty in the first first or second day. Second I knew the things fast, and I think for me, with, with a big upper body driving, since it's got 32 mil tubes, I thought it'd be quicker, so. And you love, uh, you're one of those guys that loves to have some gnarly sends when it comes to racing. We're gonna have a pretty crazy first couple corners going this direction. How are you feeling about going into those 180s? I mean, I hope all the guys in front of me <laughs> clown it. I, I don't know, uh, just hoping for a clean turn one and two and hopefully get clean air after the first couple laps and pass break. <laughs> there we go, bud, good luck.
And then now having seen the racetrack, having uh, driven on it a good bit, are you looking forward to more of these starts going into the two 180s? You're a little nervous? I definitely am a little nervous. Um, I think going into I-70 will, will be okay. The, the part that's that's a little bit more nervous to me is, that makes me a little bit more nervous is the uh, scoreboard corner. Uh, that one's a bit tighter. Um, doesn't seem to be as much room on exit there. And uh, I don't know, it just, it just seems a little sketchy going a little bit faster. Um, especially in tag with how aggressive these drivers are. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Just got to qualify up front. Hopefully you're not in that mess. Awesome. Well, hopefully uh, you'll be up there. We'll be watching. Thank you very much. All right, Jake Drew, you were too good for us to come and race the opening round of the Supercars Pro Tour last week. What's up with that? What's got you here this week and not last? Oh, uh, last week I was out at Irwindale in California running a spec late model. Uh, I've been kind of doing that this year. I've run three races now. Uh, really starting to figure that out and having fun with it, but still come back to the karting to try and get some wins and some top fives. Yeah, you've been running a lot of races. You ran USPKS a couple weeks ago. You've been running a lot back home out west. Um, you've obviously had a lot of laps on the cop car chassis. How's this been feeling so far this week? Uh, so this week's been feeling real good. Uh, USPKS, we ran real good. Uh, just trying to get back to kind of how we were. I think USPKS could end up a little bit better, but uh, this weekend we're hunting and we're coming for it. Thomas Never and Luca Mars are going to lead the field to the green here for round number four of the 2020 Scusa Pro Tour. Brandon Jarsakrak, he rolls off third, qualified pole today, feeling pretty good, and he'll roll off alongside Arius Duke Medjin in the number 300 Kart Sport North America entry. It's time to go racing, weekend number two for the Scusa Pro Tour. Let's get the fourth round of the Scusa Pro Tour underway. Thomas Never with a great jump there off the line. Arius Duke Medjin going to go through with him there to second. Mars back to third. Jarsakrak is fourth. Braden Eves is fifth. And they are all nose to tail early on. Duke Medjin wants the lead here early in the number 300. So he'll take it away from Never. Luca Mars right behind in the 341. He wants the lead. Luca Mars to the top spot. Never to second. Arius Duke Medjin now back by him. Little gap for the 341 of Luca Mars out in front. Braden Eves down the inside. Brandon Jarsakrak for third. He'll take that away. The national number two dropping back a position. Standout job so far here today for Luca Mars. He has led comfortably in a stacked senior class. Arius Duke Medjin still hot on his heels. And now Brandon Jarsakrak back up into the top three. Is he going to want to go forward? He will. Duke Medjin to the lead. Jarsakrak to second. The national number two has been shut out from the top step of the podium. Could today be the day that Jarsakrak breaks through? They've got a little gap as Thomas Never has been buried in the mid-pack. A three-cart breakaway nearly two seconds ahead of this battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth with Never, Eves, and Norberg. And now Norberg and Eves even further back. And the national number one still with a ways to go to get to the top three. Arius Duke Medjin, Brandon Jarsakrak, Luca Mars, but look. Thomas Never coming closer every single lap. Jarsakrak now to the lead. Brandon Jarsakrak leading now a four-cart pack. Thomas Never is there. Duke Medjin, Mars right behind the number two. And again, Thomas Never had pace early, didn't have it in the middle, has it now, and he's up to second as Arius Duke Medjin goes back on by. Final lap here, Duke Medjin to the inside. He will cover it off. Never is second. Mars is third. Jarsakrak has been shuffled back to the fourth spot. But the final lap around, this will be a slugfest through and through here on board. Jarsakrak through to the inside. Luca Mars for second. Oh, contact. Nebu is off. Mars is back to third. And Arius Duke Medjin is going to win round number four. Jarsakrak will finish second. Mars is third. Thomas Never out on the sidelines after that one ended just inside the top 10. But what a performance today. Luca Marge comes away with a podium after an absolute all-out fight with top contenders. And Brandon Jarsakrak, the national number two, still winless so far in the 2020 Pro Tour. But a podium right behind Arius Duke Medjin with a breakthrough win for Kart Sport North America. Luca, up front all day, pretty wild. Last lap, talk to me about it. Oh yeah, it was a great, great race the whole way through. I was able to get in the lead at some points, drop back. And at the end, I, 
made, was able to make the move in the second place, but had some contact and caused me to drop back to third. It was a good race, good come back from last time and look forward to it tomorrow. Good points today. Congrats, bud. Thank you. Pretty wild race. You drove through, led a bit in the pre-final today. Overall, solid day and a lot better than last week, huh? Yeah, a lot better. We had definitely had a little bit of luck. Uh, definitely helped starting in the first two rows of the race. Uh, definitely not as much carnage on the start and uh, just had the speed. We just need a little bit more work for tomorrow. All right. Best of luck, bud. Thank you. Arius, first Scusa senior win in the Pro Tour. Already won a Winter Series race earlier this year. Up and down weekend for weekend one, but you kick off weekend two here. Awesome. Tell me how you're feeling. How was the race? Yeah, the first weekend, not so great. I mean, came away with uh, two trophies that could have been first places, but ultimately a good learning experience uh, for the team and especially myself. Uh, this weekend, starting off, um, not so good. You know, practice, we were a bit slow, but we found pace as we went on. We did a little cart swap and we found tremendous pace, I feel, um, after, after swapping carts. Uh, rough day in the K100 class, but um, we really turned up the heat in the X30 class, so I was really happy with that. Uh, quick lap in the pre-final, so solid pace, and, you know, um, overall, I think really good race. Time to do it all over again on Saturday, middle day of the three-day weekend. Hannah Greenemeyer, one of the new faces up at the front of the field, as well as Christian Brooks with the switch to the Will Power Cart. He's going to be on the front row today, starting alongside the pre-final winner, Arius Duke Medjin. Yesterday's main event winner, going to roll the field to the green here this afternoon. He has the field all nice and tightly packed, and they are underway. Let's go, round number five of the Scusa Pro Tour. Wild first lap so far here for Duke Medjin but under control. He's got the lead. Braden Eves is second. Brooks is third. Jonathan Ports up to P4 right now as the field heads towards the scoreboard corner. Braden Eves, what a phenomenal drive today to get out to the front. He was nearly nowhere to be found yesterday when it came to the lead pack. Just kept on battling and then going backwards. Today, he is out in front, leading laps at weekend number two of the Scusa Pro Tour. There's your championship leader, Bryson Morris, up to P2 already. He could clinch his first career Scusa Pro Tour title today if he comes away with another solid points run. And he's right there on Arius Duke Medjin for the lead to the inside. No, he's not going to be able to get it done. Up and over the curb, Duke Medjin holds him back. Little frantic look behind. Morris is going to have to stay P2 for now. Christian Brooks working his way forward again. He is up to third. Eves is behind him. Mars is right there again. Still a solid weekend for Luca as he trails the Will Power Carts. Ryan Norberg has actually caught this trio. He's gone all the way up to P3. A great drive forward after another dismal qualifying run for the reigning champ. But he is now in podium contention, leading Christian Brooks. Out in front, Bryson Morris, Arius Duke Medjin, nobody in sight. And Morris has that gap slowly inching further and further away. What a drive for the young kid from Tennessee. One more lap separating Bryson Morris, 15 years old, and a Scusa Pro Tour championship. Arius Duke Medjin has given everything in his power to run down the 339. It is just not his day. That day belongs to Bryson Morris. The biggest win of his career. Round five and the Scusa Pro Tour championship to Bryson Morris in RPG. Jake Drew, one of the many drivers taken out in the opening first lap carnage. Ryan Norberg ends up with a P3 after all is said and done. Arius Duke Medjin, just not enough here today. And today, it is all about this kid, Bryson Morris, the 2020 Scusa Pro Tour champ and round five race winner. Ryan, back on the box. Today's drive, that looked hard, man. It was definitely difficult. Uh, starting so far back in the field is, is always a, a challenge coming through. It's, we've been having some difficulty in qualifying, a lot on, on my end of just positioning uh, improperly. So, you know, hoping to do better tomorrow and maybe get a win out of this championship and, you know, just, just have a good end result for this, this weekend we've been having. And it feels good to be back in the box after a, the rough time we've been having, so. Yeah, today, today felt pretty good. Congrats, bud. Thanks. Darius, P2 today, pretty close. Just didn't have it, huh? 
Yeah, it was a tough race. Started the pre-final in pole, but I mean, ultimately we just didn't have the pace to keep up. A uh, little blip on the I-70. I mean, that's all it took for him to get away. So, uh, congrats to him. But you know, hopefully we'll get him tomorrow. Awesome. Congrats on the P2, bud. All right, Bryson, first two-time winner on the season. How does it feel, man? How was today? Uh, it feels amazing. You know, great day today. Had a couple issues in the pre-final and qualifying with the bumper penalty. But other than that, the final was really good. Congrats, bud. Thank you. Breaking news in the paddock today. Bryson Morris will not be competing in the final round of the Scusa Pro Tour due to a rib injury suffered earlier on in the weekend. That's going to open the door for a race with no points implications. Brandon Tyner, Ryan Norberg, the front row for the final race of the Scusa Pro Tour season. It is time to get things started one more day. Here we go. The drivers onto the racetrack. Thomas Nepfu gets away with the early lead. The Canadian out in front. Ryan Norberg back to the top spot in the national number one. He wants to lead this show early. The reigning champion has not gotten a race win yet. Brandon Jarsakrak now out in front. The national number two was P2 yesterday, but leading his first laps of the main event today. Could today be the day that Brandon Jarsakrak ends the Scusa Pro Tour with a win? Gets himself back into the top three points fight. Arias Duke Medjin still right there and put the number 300 back out in front. Duke Medjin leading once again here after such a great run. And it's Ryan Norberg, Thomas Neverer back to the lead. This pack continues to shuffle. Jarsakrak back down outside the top five already. Check out Christian Brooks. The 343 had to start dead last. P40, he's into this lead group as well. What an incredible drive by the Nash driver. One driver coming on strong very late is Graydon Eaves. He's through to the lead. The 351 out in front. Eaves is one lap away. The gap is big enough and it will hold. Braden Eaves wins the season finale of the Scusa Pro Tour. Pauly Massimino ends in second. An incredible drive from the youngster to end out the season. Arius Duke Medjin gets onto the podium out of the fray in third. But the kid from Ohio ends on top. Ryan Norberg will surrender the number one plate to Bryson Morris for 2021. And what a drive from Pauly Massimino. P2 for the kid from North Carolina. Arius, wildest race of the season so far. Um, come out with a P3, man. How'd you do it? Uh, honestly, it was a really difficult race. I went for the pass on Norberg for the lead early on. That didn't work out so well, but I didn't shuffle back so much. So stayed in P2 for a little bit, but I was just getting dive bomb left and right. So I took the spots, you know, took the little negatives, went back a little bit, shuffled back to maybe 10th. Uh, and, you know, those guys were just setting the tone of the race, just blocking constantly, dive bombing everything. So that made for a pretty crazy race. Uh, I mean, ultimately, you know, I moved my way back up a little bit and then able to hold on in the last lap, block some people off. So, uh, overall, not a bad weekend and a pretty good performance today. Awesome, bud. Will we see you at Wisconsin in a couple weeks? Yeah, of course. All right, see you then. Polly, what a wild race. What a first, uh, what a way to get your first Pro Tour X30 Senior podium, man. Talk to me about it. Yeah, it feels pretty good. We've been struggling all weekend. Finally found some speed on Sunday and wasn't able to get to the top, but feels pretty good. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. What a wild way to end the two-week stretch here. Talk to me about it, man. Yeah, it was, a, it was a crazy race. I had a good feeling going into it. Um, made an engine swap this morning, and uh, I think my, my other engine was just a little bit tired after two long, two long weeks here at uh, Newcastle Motorsports Park. And uh, the Allison Racing engine was just amazing, and the Will Power Kart, great as always. Back to uh, last weekend's form. It was a little bit of a struggle, but um, you know, end the weekend off with a win. It's it's amazing, and I can't thank uh, all everyone on the team enough to uh, to be here. I didn't even think I was going to be racing um, this race, both races, until um, Monday before I had to be on track on Thursday. So it all came together really last second, and um, just a huge thanks to Eric Jones, Brandon Jones at Carsport North America, the entire team, my mechanic Jacob Abel, um, my dad and uh, everyone who uh, made this possible. So um, hopefully I can get back in the cart soon. Awesome, congrats buddy. Thanks.
And that concludes the 2020 Supercarts USA Pro Tour. We'll be back in 2021, but until then. Wear your mask, you asshole.